Hello everybody, Rob Yastrzemski with RJ Homes and Remax Elite here and today I'm coming to you from Westview Village in West Edmonton. We're at a mobile home park here and I'm just going to go through and do a detailed walkthrough video on this mobile home right behind me here. It's built in 1979. It's uh been actually quite upgraded uh, just recently and uh, you can see that it's got an addition there and check it out it's got a garage so rare rare find for uh, mobile homes anywhere and uh, this is one of those uh, rare finds now I'll uh, go ahead and spin around just to show you this is on a nice quiet cul-de-sac actually it's a it's a little kind of like an l-shaped street right behind me there you can see that's a nice uh, park area with a pond, and that's the main uh, main road, main entrance uh, into the park there. So it's very very close to uh, getting uh, just out of in into the uh, main parts of Edmonton. We are basically located right be between uh, Highway 16 and Stony Plain uh, Road, so it's very convenient, close to the Anthony Henday. I'm just going to go ahead and spin around just to show you. The home right from the front here so take a look you've got uh, nicely updated exterior with all new siding all new windows newer shingles garage so you have a garage spot there it's an extra large single garage and then there is enough room for a couple of uh, big trucks actually right on the paved uh, driveway right in front and so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit on the outside um, you can see it's got that nice big addition little porch area right in front here i'm just gonna go ahead and show you the outside first i'm just gonna open up the little gate area go right through here now here we go so here's the yard um you can see it's got a nice deck right there off the back of the home and actually the just, just off of uh, the dining room area here. And you can see how it's got the patio doors leading out onto the deck. Now, I did want to show you this. We are backing onto a green space right here. It's got a nice little shed in behind. So anything you don't want to put in a garage, like say bicycles or maybe uh, your lawn uh, furniture or maybe your snow blower or your lawn mower. But check it out. We're backing onto a nice park area. You can hear the birds in the background. What a beautiful day. Can't believe it's the beginning of December. Okay, now right there, that is also the community strip mall, which is very convenient uh, to have right there within close proximity. I don't know if you can see through the trees there, but there is a gas station. So that's a Petro Canada, a convenience store. You've got a restaurant, pub, uh, child daycare. So everything's all right there. And there's lots of parks in this community. Now, I'm just gonna spin around here, show you from the back what this looks like. So again, it's all fully sided, nicely updated windows. There's the back of the garage, little fire pit area right there. And then it also has like I said, this nice little shed right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you through into the garage area. You can have a look at that. Like I said, this is very, very rare. Most uh, mobile homes don't have a garage. Um, so this one is a nice find. Now check it out. You have plenty of room in here for a nice size vehicle, whether you have a Half ton pickup truck would even fit in here. But uh, if you have a good size SUV, full size car, you got lots of room in here. It's got power, so you can see it's got the garage door opener. There's some light fixtures. We're missing a couple of uh, light bulbs, but nothing that can't be easily fixed. And looks like looks like they used to have a wood burning stove in here at one time or so it needs a little bit of updating on the garage itself, but it does keep your car out of the elements. So nice little bonus. Now, coming back in through the home itself, 
I am sure you're gonna love what you see here. This home has been substantially updated by the owner here just recently. He actually has never even uh, moved in after the renovations. So it's ready to go. So let's go in and have a look. Here we are. Now, right off the bat, you can see how beautifully updated this property is. We've got all new flooring, all new paint, all new light fixtures, all new appliances, all new everything pretty much. Um, so as we go in, I'm just gonna spin around here just to show you how big this entrance area is. It's actually quite large. So plenty of space in here for your guests to come in, out of the cold, take off their shoes, and then enter your home. Now spinning back around here, take a look at how large and how bright this space is over here in this family room, great room, open concept kind of a design. It's just beautiful. It's hard to tell that this is built originally back in 1979. Now, I'm just gonna spin around here to show you this area and see that. Just a beautiful wood-burning fireplace. Uh, nice rocks around, you've got a beautiful mantle. Perfect place to put all your stockings up just in time for Christmas. And so, here we go again. This would be also probably a great place for uh, maybe your dining table or your couch because you have easy access to the patio. Be a great place for you to set up your patio furniture or your barbecue. Also these uh, patio doors allow a lot of natural light to come in. Look how bright this is. Just a beautiful renovation here. Now the real nice thing about this uh, home is that it's got a real desirable floor plan, the most desirable you can get, which is where the master bedroom is at one end at the back of the home. Then you've got it separated by the kitchen and living room area. And then the other two bedrooms are on this end of the home. So you've got a lot of privacy. So here is that first of the two smaller bedrooms, which is still really quite a nice size. You can see it's got this beautiful laminate flooring, plenty of space for a queen size bed, mirrored closet doors, and I'll open this up as well. Show you, you've got a lot of space in here. Same laminate flooring throughout. I'm gonna just turn around and go back in to show you that this home has two full bathrooms as well. Again, very rare in a mobile to have uh, two full bathrooms in an older mobile. The newer ones do come with that, but not an awful lot of these older ones. So here's another good sized bedroom. Hey everybody, clean those mirrored doors again. As you can tell, it's got new everything, new closet doors, new entrance doors, new hardware, new light fixtures, new switches, new baseboards, like everything's been updated. Take a look at this beautiful bathroom. Again, all new, you've got ceramic tile, beautiful vanity, nice new mirror, light fixture, a curved curtain rod for your shower curtain, tiled surround, full, large, deep bathtub, you can enjoy your soaks, and even a little window. How nice is that? And not only that, but you also still have an exhaust fan, so you've got the best of both worlds. Now, going back through, I want to show you this beautiful kitchen area. So you've got granite counters, and as you can tell, right here, you've got space for a few uh, stools, maybe one, two, three stools around the corner here, and then you've got this cork floor in the kitchen. It's very comfortable, very warm, by the way, to be standing on this, and look how nice this granite counter is, wraps right around. You've got lots of counter space. You've got that beautiful tile backsplash, stainless steel appliances, stainless steel hood fan. You've got the glass cooktop, stainless steel Frigidaire dishwasher, 
all new cabinets, pot lights, beautiful white kitchen cabinets, so it's nice and bright. And now, beyond here, you've got yet another entrance door to the back, just basically good place uh, to have as an additional escape route, just in case. Then you've got a uh, little bit of additional storage here um, with the electrical panel, nicely hidden, all new electrical panel. So everything's been redone in this home. Now, just right here is the laundry and furnace room. And beside it is a nice linen closet. And that's right outside your master bedroom. And here's that furnace room. So you've got the newer furnace. And that's a forest air gas furnace. And then you've got the hot water tank. Now, as you can tell right there, that is an electrical line leading to it. So you've got the electric hot water tank there. And there is a plug for your dryer. And here's where your washer would go. So you've got uh, washer plumbing all set up. Right there is your water lines and your drain. Um, so the, this is ready to go. Uh, the, you just have to buy your own washer and dryer, select whatever you prefer. That's the one thing that it doesn't come with. And then here is the master bedroom. Now take a look at this, all brand new carpeting. Again, brand new laminate flooring. You've got a walk-in closet right there. And it's got a nice little closet organizer. Lots of places to hang all your clothes. Of course, those new doors, new trim. And it's a nice size bedroom. You can easily fit a king size bed in here. Ideally though, queen size furniture would be just perfect. As you can tell, it's got the crown moldings all the way around the ceiling. There's another view from this side. And Another big bonus is you've got your ensuite. Check it out, beautiful laminate flooring. It's got that really nice vanity, the solid countertop and a built-in sink. Toilet area, what a beautiful mirror and those really nice light fixtures. You've got the light fixtures above your mirror, plus the one right here. So you got tons of light and look at this beautiful shower area it's an extra large double shower all tiled i'll show you in here you've got your solid surface single flooring for the tile and then all tiled all the way to the almost to the ceiling really high and then of course you've got these shower doors and also another bonus, window. And of course this one, this bathroom also has that exhaust fan. And big bonus, it's got a pocket door. So it doesn't intrude into the space, whether it's into the bathroom or the master bedroom. So there you have it, a really, really nice space for a master bedroom. Now I'm gonna just uh, go back into the kitchen area here, living area, just uh, to give you a nice last little view at, of this home. Lots and lots of windows. Just a beautiful upgrade. Like this whole home has just been renovated. Pretty much everything's brand new. And so let me just uh, spin this around. So if you have any questions whatsoever about this property, it's located at uh, 2338 West Port Close. That's in Westview Village on West Edmonton. Uh, basically, like I said, right between uh, the uh, Yellowhead and Stony Plain Road, just off the Anthony Henday. Very, very convenient. Uh, this home itself is actually very conveniently located on the first street, right behind the, can, the, the uh, strip mall, uh, just off the main entrance into Westview Village. So it's uh, really, really convenient to get in and out of here. Um, nice little place for, to start off with um, if you're just looking for your first home or if you're looking for maybe an investment property, uh, this would be a very easy property to rent out if you're looking for something like that. Now, one thing people always ask is, uh, well, how does it work when you have a mobile home in a mobile home park? 
So you rent the lot, and so the lot rent right here right now is $740 a month, and uh, basically then you just have your taxes, which are paid yearly, and in this case it's about just a little over $500, and then of course you have your regular utilities, uh, whoever you choose to have as your utility providers. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to put your comments down below. I'll be going through all the comments and replying back to anybody that has any questions. If you are interested in scheduling your own in-person private viewing, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call me direct on my cell at 780-222-8222. You can of course always reach me by email as well at rob at rjhomes.ca. Thanks very much for watching everybody and have yourself a wonderful day.